This is how you can exponentially grow the number of people and the engagement that you are getting on your Instagram videos. By the end of this video, you're going to be able to create super engaging thumbnails for your Instagram videos using Canva. We are going to be giving you the step-by-step -step process that you need to follow to grow your engagement and get more people watching your videos. Hi, my name is Taylor and I am one of the co-founders of Unbound Video Productions. I have been working in the marketing industry for about three years now. Uh, I have a degree in communications and advertising and I've been working with clients such as Joel Brown and Emil Steenveld to create their social media content and their engagement is through the roof. One of the reasons is because of their thumbnails. So if you would like our step-by-step -step process on how to create thumbnails in Canva, Stay tuned to the very end of this video. Before we jump in, make sure you hit subscribe and the bell to get weekly updates on our videos as to how you can grow your brand online. Before we hop on over into Canva, I'm going to be giving you three tips, just general tips to make sure that your thumbnails that you create for your Instagram videos are of really high quality. So, number one, make sure that you have an image that actually relates to your video. For example, if you are making a video about, let's say, your favorite burger shop in New York City, um, you're going to want to be using pictures of either burgers or New York City. You don't want to be using pictures of uh, cats, for example, or um, something that's totally irrelevant. Make sure that you are using images that are very relevant to the video you're going to be creating with the thumbnail. Number two, don't use too many colors or fonts or don't make it too busy. Um, it will be too much for people to look at. They, their eye won't know where to go. Make sure that you use simple colors, simple fonts, and that it's very impactful when people look at it because you've got three seconds to get their attention to see if they want to watch the video or not. And one of those seconds is going to be looking at the thumbnail. So make sure that it's easy for people to look at and very uh, engaging as well. Number three, it needs to match your branding. So obviously for your business or your personal brand, you have uh, brand guidelines that you have different fonts and colors that you are consistently using. Make sure that the thumbnail is in alignment with your brand guidelines. The overall look and feel of your profile, it needs to be cohesive and it needs to look like it's been well planned out and um, it's all in alignment with your branding. So make sure that your thumbnail um, uses the correct brand guidelines for your business or personal brand. Okay, now let's head on over to Canva and I will take you through our step-by-step -step process on how to create Instagram thumbnails in Canva. Okay, so first things first, we need to log into Canva. This is what it looks like when you log in. If you don't have a Canva login already, um, simply type in canva.com up the top here and it will open up a new page for you to create a login and you can create a free login from there. Once you are in Canva, this is what it will look like. So we can see these are all my past designs. We have posters. There's different templates that you can use for everything. So up the top here, create a design. We can see if we click on this, there are many different designs that we can choose from. What we are going to be creating today is Instagram story because we need to create a custom thumbnail for our Instagram video. So we click on that. We can see that we have the file here that is the correct dimensions for what we are creating. Over here, we have a whole bunch of templates that we can use. So if you struggle with coming up with beautiful designs, there are a lot of beautiful templates here that you can use to create your custom Instagram video thumbnail. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to be creating one completely from scratch. So what we want to do first is make sure that we choose an image. I'm just going to get a random image of myself. All you need to do is simply, simply drag and drop and it will start uploading the image here. Once it's uploaded, you have two options here from this image being uploaded. You can either click on it like this and it simply just puts the image straight into the canvas over here, or we can hold down, drag and drop it over 
so that it fits to the whole size of the canvas. But you can see obviously because there's this white sp space over here, it hasn't centered me in the middle of the image. So what we do is we just double click and then we can move it over like this. Perfect. So for my thumbnail, we need to make sure that when you create it, the image and the text is going to fit on your Instagram feed. So we don't want the image to go too far up to the top here or too far down to the bottom here. So I'm not going to do it like this, how I was just showing you. My head in my feed, when I, when I look at the video on my feed, my head would get cut off and so would the bottom part of this image. So I'm going to delete that and I'm just going to go like this. The great thing about Canva is it gives you these automatic lines. So this image is now in the center. It's also now in the center horizontally and vertically now. So I'm going to keep it off center because I want myself to be included in it. Now I want these bricks to still be up the top here and down the bottom here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add in another image like that. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that I can see how I pulled my arm off over here. And this just is making sure that the background is still the bricks. Obviously, these bricks here are a lot smaller than these bricks down here. But this is the only part that's going to be included in your feed. So it doesn't really matter that much if the top part and the bottom part aren't perfectly lined up with the bricks that are here. I think that should be fine like that. Okay, so now we have our image. So I am going to now add text to my image. When you click on the text button over here, it gives you the option to just add a header, a subheading or some body text here. But there are also all of these really cool little templates for text that you can use as well. So you can see different fonts, different designs added in with the text. It has a whole bunch of inspiration that you can use for this design that you're creating. I like this one here and you simply, you can just click on it. And then what I'm gonna do, let's zoom it in right here. I'm just click down here. I'm gonna move it out here. What I'm going to do is delete this. I just want this text here. Now, obviously we can see this is very big. It's going down here, which um, is most likely going to be cut out. What I'm going to do to change the font size, click up here and then we can change the font size here. Okay, so now because I don't want this font cutting into my arm here, I'm just going to make the font a little bit bigger. And what you can actually do as well is, so for example, if I put the cursor here next to the end of the Instagram um, and click enter down, and then same with next to the thumbnail, enter down, we can actually make this text smaller so that it might fit on one line. So let's just see if we can play around a little bit. Now this color feels very harsh for me with the color of this um, image for the text. So what I'm going to do is instead of just having the black like this, I'm going to have the black and then I'm going to click on this, click control C to copy it and then control V to paste it. So it makes two versions of this text. Now, why am I doing this? What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put another level over the top. Okay, so I have chosen a color that I like for the font to match the image. This is not the thumbnail that I'm going to be using for this actual video. It's just an example that I'm showing to you guys. This is not in alignment with our branding for Unbound Video Productions. We're gonna be using a different image and we will have the text that is in alignment with our branding. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I wanted to use this image because it's a nice image that we can use for a thumbnail and it will get a lot of engagement because I'm facing the camera, I'm smiling, and those sorts of images tend to get really good engagement. So I've chosen an, a color that I like. I've got the two layers of the text so that it provides a bit of a 3D effect with the text. 
And then if you want to add any different elements or lines, we can do that. Maybe we want to add in a line. Maybe we wanted to add in a shape behind the text. We can select this. Let's make this background white. As you can see, the black version of the text is behind this white text box, which we do not want. So to move the position of it, click on it, make sure that it's clicked on, click position, and we can go backwards and backwards again. So we want it to be in front of the image, but behind the text, just so we can make this text stand out a little bit more. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to make different versions of this text box to fit and go behind each line of text. So I'm also going to make it a little bit transparent. So to make it an image transparent, you can click on this thing up here um, and pull that down and it just makes it a little bit see through just so it's not quite as harsh on the eye. So I'm going to now copy and paste a whole bunch of these and I'm going to pull them so that they're in line with the text that they're going over. Now, the reason I'm separating these all is because if I did it as one, it was these ones up here were going to cover my arm and I don't want that. So I want them to, I want to still be able to see my arm. And as you can see, this is just helping to make the text stand out a little bit more. Cool, okay, that looks much better, I think. As you can see, this just helps to make the text stand out a little bit. As you can see, this is just a super simple design. It only took a few minutes to create, but these sorts of thumbnail designs on Instagram videos get super high engagement um, because they're simple, they're impactful, and it really makes it clear the title of the video and what the audience is going to get from watching the video. To export this, all we need to do, firstly, we'll just change the name of this. So we just name the file, whatever we need to name it. And then we can just click this download button here. Download as a PNG is fine. And we click download and that's it. Once this is done, this is now saved down here into your downloads folder and you can use it to then upload into Instagram videos. So we're also going to be creating another video on how to upload your custom thumbnails into IGTV. So make sure to stay tuned for that video if you are unsure as to how to upload your thumbnail in IGTV. But that is pretty much all we need to do in Canva to create our custom thumbnails. And that is it. So if you guys would like to receive weekly updates from us, we will be sharing a lot of videos on how to grow your brand online using video marketing, using content marketing. We're gonna be producing a lot of videos that provide lots of value. So make sure you hit subscribe, uh, hit the bell, leave us a comment if you liked the video and we'll be seeing you in the next episode. Bye.